Hello everyone and welcome to Propeller Ads. Let's continue setting up our push campaign. Today we will talk about traffic options, user activity options and basic targeting settings. Let's go for it. Take a look at the traffic options. They allow you to control where your ads will be shown. We are confident about the quality of Propeller's traffic and we recommend it for testing your offers. Broker traffic is the traffic from other public and private networks, which we recommend for scaling. The next step is setting user activity. User activity is the opportunity to target advertisements based on the user's subscription time. The high group consists of new, fresh subscribers, and the low one has users who subscribed a while ago. Thus, in high one, the user activity is higher, but there are not many of them. Users in the low group are less active, but the cohort is huge. We select the high activity group, but this is not a must. You can try working with a low one as well. The best strategy here is to create three campaigns in parallel for each user activity option, and then compare the resulting conversion price to change the bid. What is more, low cohort can bring you a deal of really cheap conversions. Just make sure to choose an appealing creative. Share your experience with user activity groups in the comments. Which one do you prefer and why? Our offer is a multi-geo one, so it works with numerous different countries. To find out which geo is suitable for your chosen offer, you should check its details in a CPA network. As for the rate, you can set a separate one for your in-page push campaign, which is recommended. To simplify the selection of a rate, we have a traffic estimator on the right. This tool shows the amount of available traffic for chosen campaign details, so make sure to use it. Below, you can see an auto-optimization option. Here, you can set the desired conversion price and choose the testing budget for a concrete slice. The system will exclude non-profitable slices that fail to provide the desired cost per action. Also, we need to set the daily and total budget for the campaign. You should put no less than 30 bucks for both. Otherwise, the budget can be easily exceeded. Also, be aware that push notifications have a peculiarity, late clicks, which is totally fine for this format. So make sure to set an average budget to save your campaign from traffic overflow. After you start a campaign, it might stop after reaching the calculated amount of impressions and resume later to hit the amount you have chosen initially. Don't worry, the campaign can start again and get another portion of impressions and pause again to consider the new information about the number of late clicks and change in CTR. Now let's move to the targeting part. Based on the limitation of the offer, we restrict platforms to mobile devices only. There is an option to choose the OS from the list, as well as browser language, connection type, mobile ISP, and zone limitation. Choose all of these settings based on the specifics of your offer, especially Geo. And the most interesting part is the audience. We have a very special demographic and interest targeting tool to make your campaigns super precise. Yes. Now, this feature is available for all account levels, so don't miss your chance to make your targeting neat and focused. How to do that? You will find out from the next video, so stay with Propeller Ads. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. See you in the next part!